you know, one of these days, one of these days, hopefully after a long life with my wife, my kids, my grandkids, my brain waves are gonna cease, my heart's gonna stop beating, my soul's gonna leave my body, I am going to die. Uplifting, huh? But it's a reality. One of which I think far too many of us ignore today. A reality I think we'd all do well to think about every now and then. No, not because we're morbid. No. Because in a way, it, it challenges us to both give today our best, this great gift of life that God's given us, but also it reminds us that this life isn't it. You know, this life right here is only the beginning. In fact, in our tradition as Catholics, there's a, there's a phrase that was often repeated, memento mori, remember death. Because someday, uh, all of our time's gonna come. But I wanna ask one thing of you, my family, friends today, personally. And when my time comes and my casket is filing in, again, hopefully a long time from now, and tears of sorrow or, or joy, depending on who you are, anyway, are flowing, I ask you to do one thing, and one thing only for me. And that is that you just simply pray for me. I ask nothing more at my funeral than for this one thing, prayer. See, I, I don't want people to say, I've been thinking about this a lot, I, I personally don't want people to say how amazing of a guy I was. You can save that for my wake. I, I don't want you to, to talk about all the niceties because all, all those amazing things that you say, though incredibly kind of you, they don't, they don't get me to heaven. But your prayers, on the other hand, do. And that's why I, I'll need them. You know, I'm probably not gonna die a finished product <laughs> and you probably aren't either. This is what I love about being Catholic. It's what I love about being Catholic. You and I being a part of this one body of Christ that St. Paul speaks of, you and I play an integral role and helping each other get to heaven by our prayers, our sacrifices. As one body, we aid each other before God. God hears your prayers for me and my prayers for you. So friends, family, enemies, at least for me, during that time of gathering together, just simply pray for me and know I'll be praying for you. Until then, until then, we got a lot of work to do on this earth for the kingdom. Pray for me and I'll be praying for you, friends. God bless you.